Hi all, this is AC Dodd. Uh, just a, a quick video this morning just to um, highlight the, uh, the the points about machining and uh, never trust anybody. That's why it's called Never Assume. Um, I've got a cylinder head here that uh, has been previously machined uh, and is actually in good condition. Um, but uh, the face is not parallel um, to, the, uh, de to the top deck of the head. So... Uh, that's not, you know, a massive issue in terms of uh, any reliability issues. But when you're trying to do some decent sort of uh, blueprint type machining, then you need uh, references that are nice and square and parallel, etc. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. But the reason I'm um, putting this video up is to show you that just because something's been machined by somebody else doesn't mean to say that it's actually right. So, you know, never assume anything and check everything when you're uh, actually building your engine and also check the work of others so if you pay to have work done by machinists then please check it because it doesn't mean to say we're right we're all human and things can go wrong um, in this particular case this head is uh, is uh, been machined by you know many years ago by somebody else uh, and uh, it was clearly machined uh, on an angle uh, and then the second uh, issue that we found is it wasn't flat that wasn't to do with the machinist that's just to it being um, just because it's been used so I just wanted to uh, show you that and what it looks like on the on the machine when it when you come across it and it's just something to be aware of if you want to build a reliable engine then just think about getting your surfaces flat uh, and everything nice and parallel if you want to make an accurate machined product anyway I uh, hope you enjoy the video thanks very much just machining ahead this morning and uh, I just thought I'd uh, take a quick video um, I need to uh, machine the valve spring uh, seats on the other side of the head, but I noticed when I measured this cylinder head uh, that it was actually tapered, uh, and not this way, but that way. So uh, in order to, for it to sit flat and to make it square, with the, uh, where I want to cut the valve spring surfaces seats uh, flat with the bottom, uh, unfortunately, the bottom face, uh, where this is a, a worked head that's been worked by someone else, um, is already been machined on an angle and also just because it has been worked before doesn't mean to say that it's actually flat so if you look there you'll see we've got you know we've already got a, a moving surface so this one needs a uh, a cursory skim before I can even uh, before I can even finish the machine or continue with the machining Okay, so we're taking fourth hour off this cylinder head now, and if we look at the surface, we can see that it's largely cleaned up all the way across, uh, except in the middle, where obviously this head was a little bit low, and then if you come to the other end, it's almost cleaned up all the way across there. But one of the most important things is we can see is the uh, effective gasket sealing. So if we look here, this is, uh, demonstrates one of the reasons why when you build an engine, you should really have the head machine flat. If you look at this black pen, now this was put on for, for to enable me to scribe gasket lines so I could see them. But uh, it obviously aids as a, as a visual aid to see what the contact uh, points are when the machine uh, cutting tool is going past. Now in this case, you can see the effective machined area is quite narrow. So if you hadn't machined that cylinder head, the gasket there wouldn't have actually been clamped to its full potential because A, the contact patch is narrower, clearly, uh, and B, it wouldn't have been flat. So it wouldn't have been given a proper uh, seal all the way across there. So this is how you add reliability when you're building your engines, is to actually uh, make sure all your mating surfaces are perfectly flat and your gasket joints are nice and flat and you've got maximum contact. Now, if we go to the center, You'll see here it's low in the centre, so it's not even touching even after a fourth hour cut. So, uh, as you can see, you know, this was, or this is a cylinder head that's in good condition um, for a modified head. But even though it's been surfaced when it was uh, made, uh, or when somebody else did it, uh, it doesn't mean to say that it is actually correct now. And that's because of the heat cycling that goes through and the stresses when it's bolted down and in use. Cast iron moves. And this is a good example of it because that wouldn't have been like that when that was machined that has developed in use anyway i'm going to continue machining that to get that flat and then i can continue with my uh, valve spring seat work so after sixth hour skim we've got a workable surface 
Now the finish on that is not uh, the final finish because I've only done that so I can enable to, uh, the rest of my machinery. But uh, we're clean all the way across. We've got nice uh, crisp edges on the chambers, so good sealing surface. So what we can do now is um, uh, finish machining the cylinder head. I've got a load of other work to do to this. Uh, and then uh, the final machining operation on this will be to give it a very light cut just to put a finish on. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it was a very short one, but uh, one that I wanted to put together nonetheless. Um, as ever, please like and subscribe if you want to see any more because it helps me make more videos. See you soon.